Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Wasteland. We're over here at Trader Bob just is about to open because we need to level him. Because I want to get my trader stage up with him nice and high so that I can get a good chance of getting the gyrocopter accessories. Because Trader Gen's tier 6 gave me the chassis and I'm never going to get enough books to get it the other way. So Trader Bob here, the vehicle specialist, is my best bet. Which does mean starting tier 1 quests with him, which is going to be extremely unfun. Oh, and they're all miles away. Let's take that close fetch. Just as a good start. What are you selling, Bob? Aside from a crucible, because once you have a crucible, every trader always sells a crucible because this game thinks it's fucking funny. Other than that, nothing too helpful. Let's go do the tier 1 here. Oh, I need to buy some water. The sooner we can just get through that, the better. Because once we get to tier 2 and can start doing infestations, we could actually have some fights on our hands. Because the wasteland, even at tier 2, as an infestation, is always going to be kind of difficult. Well, not difficult, but dangerous. There's always a chance you open a door and there's two radiated bikers, right? Yeah, but tier 1s probably just aren't going to be that big of a deal. I suppose skill points might now actually be a concern of mine again. I was kind of just trying to avoid getting them wherever possible to keep my level as low as possible, to keep the game stage as low as possible, but now that I want Dating Adventurer for a better trader stage, that might facilitate me needing another like 10 or so levels. So I guess on the next Horde Night I will actually bother to kill the zombies. <laughs> Here we are. Just on the roof. Oh, truly incredible. Tier ones, everybody. Let's go hand that in. Hey, Bob. Well, it must be my lady. I will take your pipe bombs. Let's take. Let's just get them all out of the way because I need to, to get as many done as possible. We really can't afford to be picky. So I'll see you over at this next quest, which I will spend 30 seconds doing and 8 minutes driving to. Oh, it's a bear. Please leave me alone, bear. Leave that in a good position. Let's start that. Am I actually going to have to get inside? Interesting. Alternatively, I could just bash this. Yeah, it's probably just faster. <laughs> so let's head back to Bob. All right, Bob, another one. Ah, landmines won't detonate. That'll be quite helpful considering the biome. What else do you have? Let's take that one. Another five minute drive for a 30 second mission. Here we are. I don't really recognize this POI. Maybe I've not done it much. Let's see if we can get to the thing. Grab this, jump away, because I have angered all the zombies, and then another five minute drive again. Got a bookstore here, maybe I should drive around and look for a trader while I'm in this town. We might find another bulb, which would be very helpful for leveling him quickly. I see a green tree, that tells me there's probably a trader Joel over there. Yeah, it is. It's not as helpful as a trader bulb, but I'll check in with him. Selling anything good? A cigar. Do I still need a cigar? I do not. Otherwise, he's not selling anything helpful. Let's continue over to the quest or returning the reward. Hey, Bob. Great prices. Take more pipe bombs. Take another job. Let's do the far away one. Drive over there now. Don't you love tier ones? Here we are. This one's worth a quick double loot for the munitions box. We start it. Alright, let's clear this place out. Hey, at least the zombies aren't all easy. Hmm. We're actually getting loot that's, like, compatible to mine. It's still slightly worse, though. Right, let's go back to Trader Bob after killing like three zombies. 
Blue again, Bob. I will take those shotgun shells. Let's do his buried supplies. At least this one's relatively close. Right here we are. Let's start this. I'll just pickaxe it because the ground in the wasteland is stone mostly anyway. Here we are. Grab that. Jump up. Get to the bike. And let's hand this last quest in to Bob. Right, so let's hand in the last job he has. I will take first aid kits. Now, he doesn't have any jobs, but this is where I'm going to give you guys a bit of a tip if you're playing in single player. Now, I don't do this early on in the game because I think it completely disrupts the balance and pacing of the game. But because it's like day 23 and we're just trying to get through tier 1s as quickly as possible, if you're on single player, what you can do is just leave the game and then reload the game. And then Trader Bob will now have a new set of jobs, which is very helpful if you're trying to get these done quicker. For example, if you're on like day one and you get through all five of his tier ones and you want to get through tier one complete quicker, you can do that. Obviously getting seven tier ones completed in day one um, on any sort of standard settings or any high difficulty is going to be quite hard, but if you want to do it, go ahead. Right, let's use buried supplies. And the only reason I did that there is because it's not going to change the playthrough at all. It's just going to make it so that I don't have to do tier 1s tomorrow, hopefully. Or if I do, I don't have to do much. That way, you know, you guys don't have to watch me do tier 1s for as long. Because what would happen is tomorrow, if I waited for his jobs to reset, I would have got two of them done. And then I'd just be sitting, waiting for the next day. Which would mean I would probably end up doing more tier 1s to do this more efficiently, which would mean you would have to watch me do 10 tier 1s. That doesn't sound very enjoyable for either of us. So yeah, just a little minor exploit. Start the quest, bash the ground. Okay, I guess it's under this clay somewhere, which is mildly annoying because it didn't bring a shovel. There we go. Grab that. We've got some awesome sauce. That's pretty good for a tier 1. Let's head back and get one final tier 1 for today. And that'll mean that Trader Bob will have tier 2s tomorrow and we can get onto some slightly more interesting quests sooner. The less time we spend doing tier 1s, the better. Especially in the middle of a series, but... Trader quest progression is the... The way of progression I've decided to do, because it really is kind of the best one. The only downside being, of course, if you max out a trader and don't get everything you want, well, you might have a lot of setup time with the next trader. But hey, we need something to do anyway. You know, to distract us from the fact that there's actually no point in playing the game. Like, what am I doing all this for? There's no goal. <laughs> let's take the gunpowder out of those very shitty options, and let's take the closest fetch so I can get it done fast. Because we are slightly cutting it close on time. Because I am going to have to drive, like, three kilometers home. But, um... Should be okay. Takes me, like, an in-game hour to get there. An in-game hour to do it, and an in-game hour to get back. I'll still have a few hours to get back to my base. Grab that. Is it literally right here? No, it's here. 5,000 health. Let's just go over. Maybe breaking the ceiling? You son of a bitch. That cost me years of my life right there. Stopping that animation. Right, let's go back to Bob. That'll get us tier 1 complete. Maybe I can take the water filters and on day 23 build my first dew collector. Right, Bob. It must be my dad. I will take magazines. And I will take... Honestly, I'll take the money. I don't need water filters. I've got this far without one. Can you help me with no matter what? I'm great. What I will do, though, is... Eat that awesome sauce, and just buy all his gas, because I need some more gas. So I will go home, stay the night, and in the morning we'll come out and we'll do tier 2s with Trader Bob, which hopefully will get some infestations, which will make it a bit more interesting and a bit more valuable, because ammo caches are always nice. That was a pretty uneventful day in terms of killing zombies, I think I killed like 10 total. Uh, which is good for keeping my XP down, but it was just after I decided I didn't want to do that, so that's not great. Also, I'm not going the right way at all. 
So yeah, I'll head back to my base and I'll see you guys in the morning. Where the hell do I live? Ah, here we are. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. So we're back over at Trader Bob's. It's the next day. There's a bag here. Did I loot this already? Yeah. Um, let's get some tier twos done today. Hopefully it has some infested clears, because they're more my speed. He does not. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's take his fetches. We got Bart Salvage tier to 1.4 kilometers. Thank God I bought the gas. So much driving today. Let's head over there. Here we are, Bart Salvage. Where God, if this takes me like two seconds to do. Okay, it looks like I have to go underground, so I might actually get some gameplay here. Hmm, in that room, okay. Satchel. Might as well get the loot while I'm here, right? I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. Drinks. Magnum Enforcer and some stuff. Weapons bag. Let me bash open this safe. An extended mag. I'll put that on the shotgun. Something actually worth coming here for. Right, let's go back to Trader Bob now. With nothing too helpful there. Give me a reward, Bob. Here you go, friend. Never Another extended magazine. I will use ever. that for my M60 that I have back at my base. Let's take the other fetch. Like you, friend. Well, already. So much driving. Here we are. Start the quest. Oh, we have to go all the way up there. Oh, well, let's just leave. <laughs> let's drive back to Trader Bob. Give me something good, Bob. None of those are good. I'll take the ammo. <laughs> um, I guess we can do the fetch clear. Without much difficulty, hopefully. Another skill point. Um, let's just start leveling intellect so I can get the dating adventurer ranks that I want for the gyrocopter. Here we are. Right, is there any... Oh, hello. One second. Hold that thought. As I was thinking, is there any zombies in here? Yes. Let me open this passing gas container. I don't really think I'm ever going to get enough vehicle books to make the vehicles, but it's worth not leaving the box behind at least. Let's go inside. Hello. That went well. I've all radiated, oh my god. Keep in mind this is a tier 2 non-waste, uh, non invit Non-infested is what I'm trying to say, it's like and shoot at the same time. Being speech jammed by the shotgun. Anyway, as I was saying, this is a non-infested POI. So, the game stage is 201. Oh my god, the wasteland has zero chill. Even tier 2s are pretty well stocked with scary zombies.
What do we have here? Nothing. Although that's good. Targets with full health take 20% more damage is actually really good for shotguns because I'm one-shotting most zombies already, so that's just going to increase the amount of them that I can one-shot. In theory. I don't know if the maths will add up with that at all, but probably. It's probably something I'm almost one-shotting that I'm now able to actually one-shot. Let me put that set of mods on my pistol just so I don't have to carry them around. There we go. Grab this. Even with the zombies being as difficult as they are, it didn't really take me much time, did it? We really need to get to tier 3 and 4 again. I'm just a little bit overqualified for this entire genre of quest. Let's head back to Trader Bob. Uh, we have half a day left. I'll probably do that little cheeky reset again, just to minimize the amount of time we spend doing these low-level quests. I would do it off-screen. Like, I would just say, oh, by the way, guys, I played for like two hours over the weekend and I got tier 1 and 2, but the thing about 7 Days to Die is the viewers are very, very particular about what they see compared to a lot of other games. Like, if you say, oh, I did tier 1 and 2 off screen, they do not believe you. It's weird. A very untrusting player base. And to be fair, when you've got a game that uh, has been in early access for 10 years, you would harbour a pretty untrusting player base. <laughs> you see, he did the thing where he turned it into a, a bird for the fun pips, yep, mm hmm that's what you came for, is pre-built content. <laughs> hey Bob. Now we're cooking with I will take the skill magazine. Right, let's reset his quests. Yeah, that seems about right, seven days to die. Let's reset the game entirely then, since that's happening. Fucking game. Something Any good quests? Not particularly, but I'll you, take man. that close berry really? supplies. That'll take us to four, right? Yeah, four out of seven, we're closer to being done than not, so a good choice. Hmm, very close to that bear. Oh, okay, we've got actual zombies spawning this time. Oh. Oh, here we go. Ow. There's the stuff. Two triple armor pocket mods. Well, thank you, game. Um... The pack mule Andes are absolutely crying and shitting themselves right now. Let's equip those. Unfortunately, I only needed one triple armor pocket mod for my thing, so I do have a couple of slots still to open, but I'm going to use clothing pocket mods for those once I eventually get that book. Have I even got enough slots to hypothetically temporarily do it? No. I just don't have enough armor slots for that. That's fine. Encumbrance is minimal. What can I get you today? Take first aid bandages. Let's take the fetch clear. Kind of... Fucking vultures. Right, let's start this quest. I'm expecting zombies in the field. Many millions, perhaps even billions of them. I'm actually one-shotting some radiated zombies with this is disgusting. Like, not even with a sneak attack, just good old ten pellets to the head. Oh, and we're clear. What do we have in here? Not too good. Right. <laughs> Back to Trader Bob. So much driving today. I broke my camera. I don't know what's happening here. Family. Let me get those pipe bombs and take yet another quest. This will take us to one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to get this one and another one done. Right, let's kill everything.
rip that wall. Ow. None of you died from that? Well, these guys have some health. money back on that hit. I was in the air when he hit me. I fundamentally disagree, game. Steel sledgehammer, interesting. Right, let's go back to Trader Bob. Mildly annoyingly, it looks like I might not actually have time to get another one of these done today. I can take another one for tomorrow, and that might mean that at the start of the day I'll be able to get tier threes because I'll finish it and then the jobs might switch. So that's decent. Well, had gratitude, Bob, friend. give me the nine mil. Take this job for tomorrow, can you help me? God and we'll do that in the morning. That'll have to wait for the next episode because I don't have any more time today. We have gotten through tier 1, we're almost done with tier 2. Just a few more, well, just one more quest to do which I'll get done in the morning. With that out of the way, we'll start getting in like tier 3s and 4s and 5s with Trader Bob, which will be much more enjoyable for me to play. I hope we find another Trader Bob though. If you're interested in the 7 Days to Die server, you can use the link in the description. Or use my code is prebuilt with level up hosting to get 10% off. I will make a commission if you do that, by the way. Let me know if you're still enjoying the series. And in the meantime, special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, there are links in the description to do so. If you enjoyed this video, why not check out another one? I would recommend the one on the top right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.